five. Oh, there's another question. Oh, what is the key difference between urban fantasy and magical realism? Oh, where's Naomi? Let me know. I know. I don't read magical realism, so that would be better from you. I know there is magical realism in the science fiction fantasy community, and I can't say that I'm an expert on that. Well, I'm thinking like um, Neil Gaiman's The Ocean at the End of the Lane. I feel like it's something that... So is it magical realism when it's more accepted into the world, when it's just one part of the world that's magical and the rest is like our world? Yeah, I feel like magical realism is so a, hard to pin down. A contemporary novel or historical, I guess, a contemporary historical novel with this accepted touch of magic that, yeah. So my mind jumps to uh, there's a book, Particular Sadness of Lemon Cake. Yes. Did you read that? Yes. So it was completely normal world, girl going to school, but she can taste people's feelings in the food they cook. So yep. it's one tiny little detail that is. Yep. Magic. Ellery Adams did that with her um, pie shop mystery series. And then urban fantasy, though, is something that is a, a full-on fantasy world. It's a world. In our world. So something like Cassie Clare's... Um, yes. You know what books I'm talking about. I can't yes. think of the name. City of Glass, City of Bone, those books. Yeah. Yeah, I so feel it was the like, whole Shadowhunter world in New York. I feel like fantasy tends to have sort of mythical creature but not necessarily like vampires and stuff but sort of characters that powers are otherworldly yeah. yeah powers and magic and i feel like magical realism is more like earth magic like trees that you know i i mean i think of magical realism the first person always comes to mind is sarah addison, addison allen. allen yeah and sarah addison allen does sort of these worlds where the garden, the trees speak to them and the gardens come to life, but it's not like Wizard of Oz come to life. It's just this subtleness of raining down flower petals because of the, somebody's feelings. Gotcha. Does that make sense? I hope that yeah. helped. She said she got it. Okay, good. Thank was you, she, Danielle. Was she, was she shutting us down? Maybe. Maybe we she was just so tired of us talking. <laughs> We're like, we are like what not to do in a pitch session. <laughs> yeah. Ramble, ramble, ramble. Yeah. <laughs> but we find ourselves funny. We do. Yeah. Any other questions? Hey, Buford says subscribe to this YouTube channel. Also check out Bookends on Twitter, Instagram, and our blog. See you there.